uh, President Somaya will do. He uh, will remain here as long as he can in the in the Brazilian embassy, uh, and he will continue to uh, get the pressure from both the domestic resistance as well as the international community in trying to reject the election and in trying to uh, reprogram it to call for new elections. He, if the Congress votes uh, this week to restore him, he will not accept that unless uh, those who have committed crimes in the coup itself will face justice. That's the only way he would return to office, is what he has said. And, and let me put that question to you, and what is the response inside the Brazilian embassy of what the U.S. should be doing right now and the role it has played? The U.S. has been complicit in the coup itself and uh, has used the, the accord signed between the Salaya and the Micheleti camps as a way to uh, move forward without really restoring democracy. So the United States, uh, when the accord was signed, Thomas Shannon, the assistant secretary, immediately went to uh, the media and said that the U.S. would recognize the election in spite of the fact that uh, there would be — that no Salaya would be restored or not. This was a violation of the spirit and the word of the accord. Uh, the United States had no uh, justified reason to do that whatsoever. And so uh, the U.S. Uh, has been part of the problem here in not restoring democracy. And uh, the U.S. now, really, if it, if it is to wa wash its hands of this, no, if it is to come clean, it must also reject the election because it has had such low participation, and it must go along with what President Salaya says to uh, reprogram it so that democracy can be returned. Well, I want to thank you all for being with us. Andres Contreras is speaking to us from inside the Brazilian embassy, where he has been holed up with the president and several dozen others, uh, the elected president of Honduras, Manuel Zelaya. I want to uh, also um, thank our guests here in New York, as well as um, in uh, Honduras. Uh, Sergio Mancada is the coordinator, co-founder of Hondurans for Democracy, and Patricia Adams is co-coordinator of the Honduras Accompaniment Project for the Quixote Center. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. When we come back, we're going to talk about an area of the world few Americans know about. It's the Western Sahara. And we'll be speaking with, well, the woman known as the Gandhi of the struggle there around human rights and independence. She's in an airport in the Canary Islands where she was deported to. She's on a hunger fast. Stay with us.